Henry Babysits. Henry the duck was enjoying a quiet day at home when the doorbell rang. Ding dong! It was Henry's friend, Clara, with her baby nephew. How would you mind babysitting for my nephew? She asked. Henry was not sure he knew how to babysit. It's easy, said Clara. It's my nephew's nap time, and he'll be fast asleep. Henry said he would be glad to babysit. When Clara left, he put her baby nephew on the couch, and he went back to reading his paper. And then the doorbell rang again. Ding dong! It was Henry's next door neighbor. I saw Clara bring her nephew over. She was a cat, she said. Can you watch my baby too? She'll be no trouble. Henry was a good neighbor, so he said yes. As soon as the neighbor left, the kitten began to cry. Meow, meow, meow. Henry was afraid she would wake Clara's nephew. So he ran to get some milk for the kitten, but he had no milk. And just then, the doorbell rang again. Ding dong. I heard you were babysitting this afternoon, Henry, said another neighbor. Would you please sit with baby Amanda? Henry saw the bottle of milk in baby Amanda's hands, and so he agreed to watch her because he needed that milk. Henry set baby Amanda down, and he took her bottle, and he poured a little of the milk into a dish. He gave the milk to the kitten, meow, and the bottle back to Amanda. Now both babies were happy, and Clara's nephew was still fast asleep. Suddenly, baby Amanda began to cry. Henry tried burping her, but that didn't work. Maybe she needs changing, he thought. But I have no diapers. And the doorbell rang again. It was another neighbor with another baby. I, I, I heard you were babysitting, said the neighbor. Would you please watch my baby? He'll be no trouble at all. He may just need a clean diaper. And when Henry saw the box of diapers, he grabbed it out of his hands and said, You bet. And he said he would babysit. In a flash, Henry changed baby Amanda and the monkey too. He mopped his brow with relief. And Clara's nephew was still fast asleep. Meanwhile, the kitten had finished her milk and wanted to play. Meow! But Henry had no toys. The kitten started to meow. Meow! 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 Baby Amanda started to cry. Wah! Wah! Henry wished he had some toys. Once again, the doorbell rang. It was still another neighbor with another baby for Henry. Ah, just give him his ball to play with and he'll be no trouble at all, said the neighbor. Henry took the puppy and the ball inside. He needed the toy. Quickly, Henry tossed the ball to the kitten. Meow. And baby Amanda. <coughs> they stopped crying and started to play. <coughs> but the puppy wanted to play too. <coughs> so he began to chase the kitten. Oh, no. Round and round the room ran the kitten and the puppy. And baby Amanda thought this was fun. <laughs> she began shaking her bottle, splashing milk everywhere. The monkey saw baby Amanda shaking her bottle, and he thought it would be fun to throw things. <laughs> Lamps and books and flower pots went crashing to the floor. Windows smashed, curtains fell. Henry could not stop what was happening. At last, ah, they got tired and it was quiet and the babies fell fast asleep. Henry looked around. Poor Henry. His house was a mess. The babies were still sleeping when the neighbors came to take them home. The neighbors thanked Henry for being such a good, 
babysitter. Then Clara came to pick up her nephew. She wondered to herself why Henry's house was such a mess. But when she saw her nephew was still asleep, she knew everything was all right. You see, Henry, said Clara, babysitting is easy. And Henry passed out.